What's poppin' everybody and welcome to another episode of The Maisie Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a citizen, a champion, a trooper, an endorser, a supporter of my channel, if you will. I appreciate you. In addition to that, if you could hit the post notification bell. That way, anytime I drop something new, something trending, something that may pique your interest, you will be one of the first ones to view it. Bismillah. So let's talk about it. Uh, first and foremost, let me say this video may be a little bit different than the rest of my videos. And it's great to keep up with what's going on in the entertainment industry and the hip hop and the, this person did that, actors did blah, 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 reporting the news basically. But at the end of the day, um, if I have something educational, something that may be beneficial to any of my subs that I could uh, distribute to them and anyone else really for that matter, right? I'm going to go ahead and, and, and dish that out to you. Uh, so today's a little different. What we're going to talk about is buying land in Arkansas, right? Now, um, I recently came back from a land auction in Arkansas, um, and I'm going to tell you what my reasons were for buying land in Arkansas. Uh so number one, it's the most majestic, beautiful, uh, uh, natural state that there is. That's the slogan on the license plate, the natural state, right? Um, with the exception of, uh, of uh, 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 what's it called, Pine Bluff and, um, uh, Pine Bluff and uh, 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 Little Rock. That state is beautiful. Pine Bluff, Little Rock, that's tore back. I ain't gonna lie. But the rest of the whole state is beautiful. I'm talking about rivers, lakes, ponds, bayous, creeks. They got it all. You gotta remember, it's the last state before the Midwest. So they have the best of both worlds, right? They have, if you go north, this is like the Ozarks. They got that. Beautiful. So green. So lush. So much grass, so, so 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 everything's green. If you live in like me, I'm in San Diego. If you live in California, in Southern California, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. See now, a lot of people they get caught up in um, convenience of things. I sometimes I want I want my space. I will, sometimes I want to be a little bit further out. If I want to go to the store, let me drive two, three miles to go there as opposed to go down my building and go next door to the 7-Eleven. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so there's that, right? Um, so, yeah, it's beautiful. It's it's the most, in my opinion, it's the most beautiful state. It really is. Um, it's so beautiful. Okay, so that's one. Um, number two, it's very cheap. No, 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 no. It's cheap, but that's not number two. Let me give you number two. Number two, they have a 30-day redemption period on tax lien property sales. So, let's just say, for example, uh, I have a property in Arkansas, right? Let's just say I'm in a town, uh, Benton, Bentonville, okay? I I don't pay my taxes for, uh, forget the amount of years, it's either two or four years or three Two to four somewhere. I'm not sure which. But let's say I don't I don't pay my taxes for um you know let's just say uh couples whatever the years that uh, uh doesn't they they don't they'll pass that point they will put a lien on it right the government will put a lien on it, the county so my property ends up going to auction so they're gonna basically notify the the owner look check this out bro like you're behind we will sell your shit. If you don't come through very fast and pay it. So they'll give you an amount of time. That's why when you go to these auctions, they'll have something on there, right? But then they'll, it'll, I'll give you an example, right? They'll have something, they'll have like a, uh, they'll have a parcel on there, but then it'll say removed. Uh, like that happens from time to time. Or sometimes, yeah, see, look, entry code CDs. You see where it says canceled or whatever? Yeah, so that that's this is the auction list, by the way. They'll give it to you and you can get there. You got you got pages and pages and pages. 13 pages of auction items. Uh, auction properties, I should say. Uh, yeah, so anyway. Uh, yeah, so there's that, right? So uh, there's a 30-day re redemption period. So um, once I buy your property, if they don't pay in 30 days, the title is going to ship to the address that I provide at the auction with my government-issued ID, right? Uh, 
and I'm a, I'm, a, I'm the outright owner of that property. I own the property. There's no more, as, assuming there was no other liens, which on mine there are no other liens, uh, assuming there are no other liens to basically, uh, you know, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, to, to, uh, to hold up the property, then you're good. You know what I'm saying? You got the deed. Depending on the worth, you can set it on multiple platforms. You get what I'm saying? So remember, a 30-day redemption period. That's 30 days, right? 30 days. Damn, that's right. I would try to take these off to get out of the eye with y'all, but this damn sun is so bright. Um, yeah, so there's a 30-day redemption period, right? That's a big one. That's a very big one. And if I'm not mistaken, if not the only, that's one of the only states that happens a redemption period that's so short. Now, uh, whatever doesn't go, here's another reason why to buy tax lien property in Arkansas. Whatever doesn't go at the auction will go online. Now, um, a lot of time what will happen is that people will say, hey, uh, I'll give you a perfect example. Right now, I was just looking at a property in Arizona because I'm trying to kind of get into this a little bit more so, right? So right now, just about 30 minutes ago, I was looking at a property in Arizona, right? Now, this particular property that I was looking at, it was worth like 20 some bands, right? And it was for sale, uh, uh, I want to say, um, what was it? 50 bucks? 80 bucks or something like that? 100 bucks? I forget the amount. It was less than $100 in back taxes, right? So that means the taxes ain't nothing on this property because there was nothing on it. It was just like 40 acres in the middle of nowhere in Arizona. So I go to check it out at a third party um, little website I have a membership at where I can see what's up, everything, what's up with the property. Uh, and there's hella liens on the property. It's not just one. It's not just the tax lien. Nah, there's like liens and liens and liens, pages of liens on this property, right? So, yeah. So, just know that you, you want to check out your property first. But at the end of the day, as long as there's no liens on that property, we're going back to Arkansas, as long as there's no liens on that property, you're good. You're free to sell. You're good to, you're free to build, start your farm. You're free to, um, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, another reason I bought in Arkansas or, or why, why I would buy in Arkansas, um, would be, there's a lot of rural, rural areas, right? These areas, they don't have any, uh, uh, uh what's the word I'm looking for? There's no code. There's no codes. Like far as like, uh, 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 um, restrictions. There's no restrictional codes. Like, so my property that I have in this town, right? It's a, it's in White County. Okay, it's a half an acre. Where I'm located, I'm outside of the. Uh, now, granted, I'm literally five minutes from the downtown of this city. That's like maybe like twenty thousand people, ten thousand people, which is not a lot, but at the end of the day, it's a good amount of people. And also, you gotta remember, it's spread out. It's not like California, New York, places like this where everybody's just blam all in one, one clumped up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, area. Nah, it's spread out because there's land. There's land. So a, a area. Let's say a little place with 20,000 people. And here, that would be like a square mile. There, that's like 20, 30 square miles. Is that spread out. You get what I'm saying? And then everybody has, you have all the little, you know, regular stuff. Your Planet Fitness. You got your 70, uh, whatever you might need. Grocery store, whatever. Smoke shop. All the necessarily, necessarily, necessary things that people may want, right? So, um, anyway, but that's another reason is that there's no... There's no uh, 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 building codes, right, uh, uh, in a lot of these areas. So if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to, right, I could go put a trailer, put a mobile home, put a tiny home. I could drill my own well by hand, right? I could do all of this. And also, that's another thing. That brings me to my next point, right? So, bam, that's one. So, so what we got? A 30-day uh, period, right? Another one is uh, there's, they're not very strict, right? Oh, well, well, no, it's beautiful 30-day period. It's not very strict. Uh, bam, so that's the third. Fourth one, there's water. So for those who are, I don't know where everyone is at in the world. I, I know I do have some subs in other places. Uh, for those people that are in a dry climate with not a lot of water um, and, you know, the groundwater is thousands of feet deep, 
That's not Arkansas, bro. It's very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. For those who want to check out my shorts, any of the shorts that I posted throughout the time that I was on the trip, check them out. And you can check, and you'll see they're, 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 it's so green, bro. There's rivers everywhere. It rains. You know what I'm saying? They got the seasons. They have all the seasons. Um, yeah, so the literal groundwater is probably about maybe 50 feet, 100 feet deep, depending on where you're at. I'm pretty sure, being that I'm not far from a couple rivers, I'm pretty sure mine is not. It's probably 50 feet deep. So you could get an actual, uh, there's a kit. You, it's like a big tube and it's jagged at the end and you just keep twisting it and then once you get to the bottom to the one you can't go down no more pull it back up put a new attachment on it and do the same thing um if you're like lazy just maybe pay somebody two three thousand to do it for you you know what i'm saying me uh i'm kind of like a hands-on like i'm kind of handy you know what i'm saying like uh, if i can do something myself i'm gonna do that like i'm a man you feel me i'm supposed to do that like you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you never know some of the circumstances. Maybe they're not able to do it. Uh, maybe it's just whatever, for whatever reason is too much for them or they're not physically. Maybe they're far away. Who knows? So anyway, there's a lot of water. Uh, you can collect rainwater. You can drill a well. You don't even, honestly, if I'm being real, if I had a water tank over there, let's just say, for example, I built like a big gazebo because the, the land is empty. If I built a big gazebo and I had a water tank over there, and I just put the, the gutters and connected the rainwater from the gutters, I guarantee uh, that sh it would be filled up. Like, you could probably get a 25,000 gallon. Yeah, I'd say you probably get a 25,000 gallon uh, rainwater thing filled up in like no time. You know what I'm saying? Even 10,000 would be easy. That'd be easy. In the sea, like before the season is even over, like before, let's just say from now to maybe like a couple, a few. I don't know how many months, but you can get my drift. You can fill up your water tanks with rainwater. You can drill the well. There's water. Okay. Um, another reason. So that's what? It's beautiful, right? 30-day redemption period. That's very important, right? Uh, uh, um, the water. Is that what I said? The water? Yeah. Okay. Another reason why um, I, I, I like Arkansas and I would buy in Arkansas is that while property values are not like so so high compared to like a lot of the other metropolises in America it's so doable it's it's doable for anybody so for me it was more of like my tester to see if I could get into it bro you see in prop let me show you I don't I don't think you really like totally understand people don't believe me when I tell them this right a lot of people they're not when I tell them they no oh, are you sure like, yeah I'm sure man look so check it out I'm gonna just give you a couple of examples of, of some of the cheapest parcels on here. Mind you, I seen a quarter acre go for 250 bucks, by the way. Look, okay, so check this out, right? Check it out. Where, here, I'm gonna flip it around. You see this right here? Five, seven, three, four. Oh, oh no, my bad, wrong one. Five, seven, three, three, right? This guy named Taylor Cody owned this parcel. 01-09434-000, right? So it's a, it's a little bit less than a quarter acre, right? So it's just barely a little bit less than a quarter acre. Guess what it went for? That's the starting bid. 268 bucks, right? And there's a lot of them on here like that. It's 13 pages. I don't want to go through it all, but there's a lot of them on here like that. You can actually go... Um, to you know uh go to uh, uh, uh like the websites the the commissioner of land and all that stuff you can download the the actual list so it's not like exclusive to anybody you don't need a special license all you need to go in there this is arkansas at the live auctions all you need to do to go in there is going to be uh have a government id and a debit card with the funds on it you know what i'm saying now don't get to waving your little number if you ain't got the bread because that they'll, that'll be an issue. They tell you once you do that and you raise it and you agree to it, that's a legally binding contract, a verbal contract that you make, and you are legally obligated to do that. They say that, and your name is registered to your number. So I'm pretty sure that there's something that they might do if you didn't pay or if you didn't have the money, whatever. It, I'm pretty sure it would be an issue. But I, I didn't. I wanted my property, so I cashed them out. You feel me? I got um I got three parcels and I paid twenty two hundred and fifty bucks. You know what I'm saying? Imagine that. 
one of them is going to probably sell like about almost double that. So I'll be all right. Okay. So bam. Uh, another reason, right? So yeah. So but back, the reason I was explaining is very affordable. So it's like a good starting point for anybody. Uh, maybe you're not really ready to make those big purchases. Uh, maybe you're not really ready to make those big purchases that, you know, um, require, you know what I'm saying? 20, 30 K down, um, you know, on a, on a nice size property with a little fixer up or even a home or whatever. Right. Maybe you're not ready to make those purchases, but I'll tell you what, you got 200 bucks, you got 400 bucks, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't, uh, I mean, Hey, look here, you can go inside them, uh, go to Ralph's, go get a job, get a paycheck and you got the money. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not, I'm not into hearing no excuses of why people can't do things. This is very accessible. Um, now if you don't want to do it, that's on you. I'm just saying it's very accessible for people to do. I'm telling you, I went, I got three properties for 2250. I'm not no super baller. I mean, I got a couple of dollars here and there, but I'm not rich like that. You feel me? Um, uh, yeah. So there's that, right? Um, it's very attainable. It's very doable. The taxes are very low. That's another one. So anytime property value is low, the taxes are going to be low. The taxes are dumb low. But at the end of the day, people are buying these lots. That's the thing. Everybody who I was up at the, everybody who I was up at the, um, at the auction with, no, I ain't going to say everybody, a good majority of them, I talked to all of them, they're talking about buying and selling. That was their big thing. They were talking about buying and selling the property. You know what I'm saying? So they, they already had, was up into something. It was already up into some little, you know, uh, I talked to this, uh, older white gentleman. He was telling me that he had, um, he had got a, like a, a, a old house. I want to say he paid like uh three or four grand for it it was an old fixer upper he tightened it up fixed it all up right and ended up selling it for like uh, i forget what he said like sixty five thousand or something like that now mind you it's cheap out there it's not like california for anybody from california or like an expensive state take those numbers and take them out of your mind go on zillow and you can re you can re you can circle the area go circle like an area in maybe like northeast northwest arkansas the value is not nowhere near the same, but it's so much more beautiful. I'll be honest. Okay. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's money to be made. Taxes are low. Um, what's another reason? Okay. Another reason. This is one of the last States that does in-person land auctions. Um, uh, most States do it online. Now there is some States now, mind you, I'm not an expert on this. Don't get to tell me what I don't know. And I'm, I'm just telling you what I, have what's I did my fair amount of research what's been explained to me okay uh, there most states don't do it uh, and I am still learning so you know whatever but a, a, a couple states do it in person the rest don't do it in person okay they do it how online okay uh, Arkansas is one of the last one does it online now when you have an, an in-person auction uh, that guarantees two things right the, the, you're not left over with the trash, number one. So a lot of these parcels, not gonna say all of them, but maybe some of them every now and then that are, um, you know, going for, you know, whatever, and they're not sold at the auction, the less desirable lots, they're gonna go to the side. And guess what that's gonna be? That's gonna be an OTC, uh, uh, not OTC, but that's gonna be an online auction. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so there's that, right? Uh, let's see, uh, what else? Okay, so, um, all these people, the majority of these people, think of some as in Arkansas. How many of you guys right now could get up and, 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 and get on a plane, get in the car, drive to Arkansas, spend a couple weeks there? A lot of people can't do that. So it's not doable for a lot of people. I'm trying to get my friend to go to a land auction in New Mexico. He got all kinds of reasons why he can't go. You feel me? Shout out my homie AJ. But yeah, uh, yeah, he, he, he got a million reasons why he can't go. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people can't just get up and go. So what does that mean? It's a lot of locals. A lot of people from Arkansas that are doing it, right? Everybody, uh, uh, I was damn near seen some hillbillies fighting there over a damn property. They were so mad. They, they been way much over, so far over the, it was ridiculous. Anyway, uh, yeah, so you, you're, this is the first, you're getting the, you're not, you're getting the pick of the litter, basically, um, with what's available. Uh, and also you're only dealing with locals. So anybody from the other 49 states, they're not there. I swear, bro, I probably was the only outsider in this whole auction that I went to. There was people from different parts of Arkansas, but I was the only outsider from there. Uh, what's very common over there 
is that you just see a lot of people like local entrepreneurs that are having their way but they're so far they're just kind of in the in the it's something obscure you wouldn't think but now they're really probably doing cool in a place that maybe it might the average person only gets maybe a thousand fifteen hundred dollars a month you know what I'm saying they could be making 10 15 grand a month off these properties and these flips and these these rentals and these you know whatever so yeah so there's that um I don't want to beat you guys up with too many reasons but yeah um yeah, the the, the the property's cheap. The, no, nah, if I had to pick one, if I had to summarize all this down to one, for sure I would go down to the redemption period. It is a 30-day redemption period. That's, I believe, I don't know, but I believe, if not the cheapest, it's one of the cheapest in the United States. Um, Arizona's three years. So if I buy your tax delinquent property, you got three years to try to get paid off and all that with interest. I... I, I that's not the situation up there. Now, granted, I still would buy in Arkansas because some of them, um, excuse me, in Arizona because a lot of them land, a lot of them parcels are real cheap. You know what I'm saying? You can get the tax lien for as low as 50, 60 bucks sometimes. As long as you check in no liens on it, but 60 bucks. Especially people in a high economic area with a lot of stuff going on, big cities, 60 bucks is nothing. <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? 60 bucks is, that's, that's a shirt for you. You feel me? Um, uh, yeah, so there's that, right? Uh, another one. I don't want to beat you up with too many. But yeah, it, it, it's very doable, man. And that 30-day redemption period is key. So anyway, I don't want to beat you up with too many reasons. But these are just some reasons why you may or may not want to go ahead and invest in uh, tax lien auctions in Arkansas. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe and that like button. There's going to be more videos like this to come. I'm not a professional, so I'm not trying to make my channel about it, really. Uh, but at the end of the day, I want to share a little game. I, I, I was... You know what I'm saying? Research and stuff. I had a little game about it. I'll be more than happy to share this game with anybody who wants to hear it on YouTube or whatever. Um, or any of my folks, any of my people, whatever. Uh, uh, that's cool. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, if you, like I said, have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll try my best to answer uh, whatever I can answer. And if I can't, then maybe I can steer you in the right direction to do so. But I will make some more videos like this in the future. I appreciate you for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe, like, and comment. Salute. I'm gone.